welcome to What's Cooking on the Network. Today our sponsor is Google Twin Ports, where you can go to www.googletwinports.com and register your support for Google High Speed Internet to bring it to the Duluth Superior area. What you are doing is just nominating... It's not the network! What you are doing is just nominating um, our city as a possible future site, or we'd like it a sure thing, future site, for uh, Google's testing of the high-speed internet. What's cooking on the network? As I said, it's brought to you by Google Twin Ports, and uh, we're going to speak today about a few things like uh, one, one thing like uh, bottlenecks. Bottlenecks in your network. People always call up our office and say the uh, network is slow. Well, that's usually due to a bottleneck somewhere. And uh, we use things like root cause analysis to figure out where that bottleneck is. Normal network is a great big pipe, as you would see it, or a, a two liter bottle. And uh, your information comes through a little bitty hole in it because you are given one of those little bitty holes. So, what would the world be like if we just uh, open, took away that little bitty hole and, uh, yeah, don't want it to spill, poured the whole thing out. It's not the network. Well, people are always calling up and complaining and you hear out of the back room some guy just uh, exclaiming, it's not the network. However, let's go now and look at 10 ways to know your internet connection is a little slow. All right. Now we'll start with number 10. When you click the send button and a little door opens on the side of your monitor and a pigeon flies out. Number 9 of 10 ways to know your internet connection is slow. You receive emails with stamps on them. Has uh, number 8. Have anyone talked to you on Skype or a net phone that sounds like Forrest Gump? Number seven. You're still in the middle of downloading that new popular game, Pac-Man. Number six. It's not the network! ESPN websites exhibits the Heisman Trophy winner for 1989. Number five of ten ways to know that your internet connection is slow. You post a new message on your favorite news group and it displays one week later. Number four, your credit card expires while ordering online. This is uh, ways to know your internet connection is slow. You believe Number three, you believe a heavier string might improve your connection. Again, ten ways to know your internet connection is slow. Number two, your graphics arrive by FedEx. Number one, text on the web page displays as Morse code. So much for that. We're here to discuss bottlenecks and uh, how to determine root cause wise why your network uh, excuse me I got a phone note phone call again yes um, your game is slow how slow is it oh your, your, your screen appears to be froze up it's not the network um, did you, did you look at your uh, program manager to see if there was any um, unnecessary programs running in the background? Um, you press Control alt delete and then uh, and then uh, P. Um, no, you press Control alt delete and then uh, select your program manager. That's right. We want to see if there's any excess programs in the background causing a bottleneck and slowing down your computer. Um, you don't, uh, it does not come up, 
Um, what do you see on the screen right now? Uh, your, fro your game is froze, I see. Um, try control left shift and then P. No, P on your computer. P on your, com on your keyboard. P on your keyboard. No, they hung up. Well, sometimes we find bottlenecks are uh, usually your, your video card can be a bottleneck, your, the, the bus in your computer can be a bottleneck. Um, a lot of times the, if you're working off a server, client server environment, um, the server you are connected to across the internet, for instance, is a slower server than you would on another, another application that you're connecting to. And so what the Google High Speed Network will do for us is eliminate the bottleneck and uh, we can definitely say it's not the network. A lot of uh, places think we have some magic, uh, um, like a rheostat or a, a knob that uh, in the back room uh, they call up and we can just do something magically and just turn up the uh, speed of the internet. So others think we have a switch with their name on it, that uh, we just sit around waiting for people to uh, complain long enough and then uh, once they register a certain number of calls at the help desk uh, we'll get that switch with their name on it and, and uh, turn the uh, speed back up on the network. But uh, we're talking bottlenecks here and that's usually what we do when we uh, troubleshoot a network situation. Like this, uh, like this strawberry pop illustration. Um, we just uh, poured some out here into the glass and found out that the bottleneck would slow down the transmission of the uh, product to the end. But with uh, Google High Speed Internet, what, we, what they plan on doing is just removing that bottleneck and the possibilities are unlimited, un limitless. Unlimited. Whoa, look at that. You get strawberries. Sweet.